Sarah, you're, you're doing fun. this. You made it happen. You know. Camp Kaluyala. Camp Kaluyala. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. You had this idea like day two. Do I did, yeah. So I said what I wanted to do was do like a camp type thing where the kids from San Miguel get to come and experience Kaluyala doing hands-on activities with the interns, with the directors firsthand. Tiene un king. I know Kaliyal is really adamant about whatever they do is building the relationship between Kaliyal and Sam Miguel. No, go fish. Go fish. Mm -hmm. People have been trying to bring students in San Miguel to the valley so many times, so I hope she can pull it off. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six. I'm the teacher in the American school system, and I'm just really frustrated no, with it. Vegas is home, so I'll always love it because of that, but I've never really connected with it too much, especially the Strip. It's a lot of superficial, materialistic ideas that I just don't agree with. So we're starting to get into kind of the not so good area, which is where my school is. Um, we're a Title I school. The kids are very centered around money because that's what they see as a way of being successful. One kid was like, wouldn't that be cool if it rained money? And I, I was so taken back by it. And I was like, no, it, it's cool that it rains rain. But it's just scary to think that seven and eight year olds are already seeing money as something a lot more important than happiness or experience. Sal. Si, Luis. <laughs> Poverty is different here in San Miguel than it is back home. To them, it's not poverty. They don't see themselves as having less than what they should. It's just is. Oh my god. They're so scary. Hi. There's no, well, I want a phone and I want a nice car. I mean, they don't have those thoughts here and they're happy. 